what is going on guys in last video we have successfully integrated the firebase authentication and also we have created account using our sign up page in this video we will integrate the login page as well so that user can log in also we will implement navigation to the home page whenever there is successful login and sign up so let's get back to the project so for that what we will do we will create a new screen in this screen let's call it as home screen file I will make it a composable home screen. We'll just create a simple composable. We'll just create a simple composable that is column. Inside that we'll add text that will be home screen. Let's center it. So here I will add property from sign up screen. I'll go to column, everything, same modifier, vertical arrangement and horizontal alignment. That's it. Now we have to define it in navigation. So let's go to app navigation. Here we have auth, login, sign up. Let's create another one so home and it will be home screen so now from sign up screen we have to go to home screen so how we can do that we need nav controller for that so here i will pass nav controller as well let's go to sign up screen and i will add second parameter as nav controller that's it now from sign up screen whenever it is success we can go to home screen so for that nav controller dot navigate home in this way we'll go to home screen but you should notice whenever we click on sign up screen we'll go to home screen but whenever we click on back we will come back to sign up screen which should not happen because we should clear all the back stack so no screen should be on the back stack whenever we are logged in or sign up so here what we will do here we'll pass pop up to we'll pass a route that is auth so we'll pop up to auth because we have auth screen then sign up screen then home screen and we'll pass inclusive equals to true it will clear everything it will clear the sign up page it will clear the auth page and we will have only home screen in the stack in this way whenever we click on sign up if it is success it will go to home screen let's run and test this so let's say test2 at gmail.com full name will be test2 and password will be 222222 six time two if i click on sign up you can see we are navigated to home screen account is created over here and if you click on back the app is closed we are not in the sign up screen and auth screen app is closed in this way stack is also cleared so now we are on home screen that means we are logged in one thing you might have noticed whenever we are creating the account it takes some time because it is asynchronous operation it takes some time till then we can notify user with some progress bar or with some message so what we can do for that we'll create a variable first that will be uh, let's say variable is loading by remember and it will be mutable state of let's say let's make it as a boolean so let's pass false that means is loading is false in the beginning it will be false whenever we click on sign up button here we'll make it is loading as true and whenever it is success is loading will again will false whenever it will be failure is loading is will be false again that means when we click on this button it is loading that means it will be true whenever task is completed it will be false so what we'll do we'll disable this button until task is completed so for that in the button property we'll add one more enabled is loading if it is loading it should not be enabled so it's not loading so whenever it is not loading then only this button will be enabled so how it will work let's see if you click on sign up here if you give any wrong email address let's say password also you can see it is disabled for some time and task is completed then it is again enabled so this is good also what we can do we can write here we can write instead of sign up if is loading is true then we'll say creating account else it will say sign up so now restart sign up give some email address you can see create a creating account immediately it is gone so that means it is working that means it is working so sign up is working we have created two accounts already whenever we click on sign up we will go to home screen that's it now we will do the same thing for login if we are already sign up we have already created account now we want to do login how we can do that in the login we can type email address and password and do the login so for that we'll create a method first let's go to let's close everything let's go to auth view model it will be similar method here what we will do we require only email and password same thing we will do whatever we are doing over here auth dot instead of create user with email and password we will use sign in with email and password so here we are using create here we will use sign in so email password again we will add complete listener so whenever it is completed that means if is successful else if it is not successful so here also we will return same result so i will copy this parameter paste it over here that we can use same and if it is false if it is not successful we will return this localized message 
same way here over here and if it is true we don't have to do fire store because we have already saved the data in login we don't have to query the fire store so only if it is successful that means it is logged in so we'll pass on result true and message will be null that's it that's it our login method is ready so now we can use it in the login screen so here also we'll do the same thing first i'll open the sign up screen we'll create is loading variable and context is loading and context we'll go to button on click here we'll go to and we'll copy everything from here copy everything from on click and paste it over here now here we require auth view model so in login screen also auth view model is equal to view view model import now with this auth view model also we require nav controller so here nav controller nav controller we'll go to app navigation and pass nav controller same way in the login screen as well now here auth view model dot sign up instead of sign up we will do login we don't require name success error message is loading is equal to false nav controller dot navigate home pop up to auth inclusive true this is fine whenever we are success whenever we are failure we are showing the message and here we will do same thing if is loading we will show a message logging logging in else we will show login button and here we will define enabled is not so this not is required that's it our login method is also ready if i run now go to login let's type here random email random password click on login it is enabled the email address is badly formatted so let's give test1 at gmail.com correct email but password is wrong the supplied credential is incorrect that means password is wrong if you give the correct password 111111 now if i click it should go to home screen let's click on it you can see we are immediately logged in and now we are in home screen that means sign up is also working login is also working if i click on back app is closed in this way we have completed login and sign now one thing you might have noticed if you restart the application you are again in the auth screen since we are already logged in we have already provided the username and password we should be on home screen by default we should not be in auth screen anymore unless and until we log out so how we can do that so firebase auth provide us some method let's implement that in app navigation so first screen is our app navigation so here what we will do we'll check either we are logged in or not so value is logged in equals to we'll check from firebase dot auth dot current user if we have current user that means if current user is there that means we are logged in if it is not there that means if it is null then we are not logged in so if it is not null then only we are logged in so here what we were doing directly we are going to auth every time start destination is auth here what we will do value first page let's say equals to if we are logged in if is logged in then we'll set it as home else only we'll set it as auth start destination here instead of passing auth we will pass first page that means if we are logged in it will go to home if we are not logged in then it will go to auth now if i run you can see we are directly in home screen because it checked we are logged in or not see we are in home screen in this way complete flow is complete now one thing what we can do if you want to log in with another user how we can do that so we can add logout button over here for temporary what we can do here in text below text i will add a logout button so let's say button text log out and on click of this button also firebase auth provide us some method firebase auth dot sign out that's it now whenever we are sign out we want to go to back to auth screen so nav controller also required so here in home screen app navigation we'll add nav controller here nav controller so we'll use this nav controller nav controller dot navigate where we want to navigate we want to navigate to auth also we'll do pop up up to home and inclusive equals to true so in this whenever we click on sign out it should sign out first and it should go to auth screen so if you see over here we have logout button let's click on it we are in auth screen now if you restart the application we'll always be in auth screen because we are logged out already you can log in with test 2 user 222222 click on login we are in the home screen so in this way it will work so that's all for this video in next video we will start designing the home screen so if you enjoyed this video please hit the like button if you have any doubts and queries please comment below i will reply for you don't forget to hit the subscribe button before going see you in the next video bye bye